Okay, let's get started. So, for my editor, I'm using um, WebStorm. And you can use whatever IDE you like. Uh, but I'm using this because you can just run the server uh, inside the editor. So I'm right clicking, running the app. It's listening on port 3000. So I can go to the local host. Okay. And you can stop the server. Whereas if uh, you don't use WebStorm or some uh, editor that detects uh, node code, um, you can use the command prompt. And you have to go to the directory of your project. So this one is users. And then you use the node command, app.js, which is the main, um, which is the, the node.js file. So you can run that listening to the port. There you go. So that's what you can do if you're not using um, an editor like uh, WebStorm. Uh, but that's pretty tedious for me, so. Okay, so let's get started. Regardless of the editor, we can uh, create a new project, an empty project. I'm going to call this one uh, Tutorial01. This is the first take, I guess. And yeah, it's, let's just make this window. So it should be empty. So you can create a um, JSON file. So with WebStorm it just makes it easy, but you can just create package trace on file. And I forgot how to what I need here, so I'm just gonna look at this tree treat uh, description. I just learned um, like node two days ago in socket IO. Yeah, you can write whatever description you'd like. Um, I didn't need to write that specifically. Okay, now uh, we can save that. And then we'll run this command in um, git bash. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention um, git bash. Uh, you can get it here. <laughs> so uh, it's just another terminal uh, to use uh, npn commands and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna run, we're gonna change directories to um, our project. So see. GitHub also recently. So now we can run the NPN. Oh, um, yeah. NPM install save express. And we can, uh, while we're waiting for that, let's make a JavaScript file. Call it app.js. Okay, after it's finished, uh, we'll go ahead and get socket. So npm install save socket.io. And we can edit. Um, 
app.js file. And you can find uh, how to, to set this up at socket socket.io. This is where I started. Um, you can go down, get started now, chat application. And they go through a short tutorial here. And at the end, you have uh, a chat application. So moving on, we are in app.js, and our package.json file was updated um, to the most recent versions of Express Socket.io. Um, and we also have uh, node modules here. So we can go to the app.js uh, folder, or file, and so we'll type fair app equals require express So Express initializes the app to be a function handler that you can supply to an HTTP server. Um, and here we're routing um, the home page to send uh, our index.html file. Uh, when when the request is uh, the home page. So we define a route handler. I guess that's what it's called. Um, so then we make uh, our HTTP server listen to uh, port 3000. It can be whatever port you want. Just gonna make it three thousand. Console dot log just prints something out on the uh, console. So listening to port three thousand. So we created a server, and we're listening to port three thousand. And when someone goes to the home page, we're returning uh, index.html file. Let's go ahead and create that uh, HTML file. And so here, everything's loaded for us. To To have the host connect to the server, we need to include um, this um, library. We need to call um, call IO. Notice that the URL isn't specified when IO is called. So here we don't have URL uh, since it defaults to trying to connect to the host that serves the page. So now let's try running our server. Okay, we have an empty page. We can update that page something without having to reset our server. And there we go. Hello world. Okay, so in the next tutorial, we'll set up um, the um, client world and the uh, server world. We'll look
look at some 3.js code. Thanks.